Hey, this is Smithy back again for Spurred On. Now, Tottenham do, of course, play Swansea this weekend, and we will be coming up against Gilfie Sigurdsson, former Spurs player, and I think someone who is massively underrated at the club. And that got me thinking of a new idea for a video. Who are the top five most underrated Spurs players of the Premier League era? Number five for me is Nico Cranshaw. What a player he was, and he was definitely underrated. Uh, the reason I say that is because we had a lot of very good midfielders at the time. Obviously, the Bales, the Van der Vaarts, the Modric's spring to mind. We had a lot of other midfielders as well. He was so versatile, you could play him in behind the striker, out wide in midfield. Uh, he was such a quality player that played with his heart on his sleeve all the time. Scored some brilliant goals. The only person who liked him more than me was Harry Redknapp. I think he signed him about 700 times. He even played with the shoelace in his hair. Number five, Nico Cranshaw. Number four for me, slightly controversial for a couple of you I know, is Roman Pavlyuchenko, who I believe wasn't sold because he wasn't good enough, but was sold because we had better striking options at the time. Not like today when we've only got one striker. Back then we had Crouchy, we had Keane, we had Defoe, and Pav scored so many important goals for us. There's a montage of all his Spurs goals on YouTube. It's two minutes, 38 seconds long. Therefore, he can't be that bad. He scored at Old Trafford, he scored at Inter Milan, and he scored that goal against Young Boys, which was so important to us. We were 3-0 down in a Champions League qualifying match, and what a goal that was. I'm saying number four, Roman Pavlyuchenko. Number three for me is Scott Parker. Let me know what you think about that choice in the comments section below, but I can't imagine any of you disagreeing with that one. What a player, and what I loved about him was we had a lot of technically gifted players at the time. He was a proper old school hard man. He's someone that should have been playing in the 1966 World Cup final team. He had that mentality. He'd always get the crowd going, I think he made Modric the player that he is, or had an effect in making Modric the player he is, because he freed Modric up. He did all the dirty work that allowed Modric to roam and score goals and, and be the technical player that he was. He played for five London clubs. He never gets booed at any of them when he returns, because he is such a well-respected guy. He captained England. He was amazing at doing the 360 pirouette one way, and then as soon as you saw him go that way, he'd go the other way. I love the fact he'd come from football field. He'd be muddy, he'd be battered, he'd be bruised, his shirt would be pulled, yet his hair would be unbelievable. Scott Parker, Number three. Number two for me is the man I mentioned earlier, Gilfie Sigurdsson. Uh, I still think he could do a job in the current Spurs squad. I don't think he'd start in our, in our strongest 11, but I do think he'd be a very good squad player. I only think we sold him because we've got, let's face it, a slightly better player in Ericsson. He's easily Swansea's best player, scored some really big goals for us. He scored an absolute worldie against Hull in the League Cup. Don't know if any of you were there, but that was an absolute rocket of a goal. Uh, regularly wins sports personality in Iceland and if you haven't seen the trophy that he wins for that Google it because it is absolutely ridiculous. He's a top fella, he's, he's single-handedly taken Iceland to the Euros which is an unbelievable achievement and I still think he could do a job for the mighty Spurs. My most underrated Spurs player of the Premier League era is Peter Crouch. Now, and the reason I say that, in fact I've got a lot of reasons why I say that, he scored some massive goals for us. The one that springs to mind is the one at Man City at the Etihad that took us to the Champions League. He also scored in the San Siro, he scored against AC Milan, he scored against Inter Milan at home as well. Just, just a huge player for us. His goals to game ratio for England is still one of the best of any strikers. I still think he is underrated at all the clubs he's been at. I think people look at Crouchy, think tall, strong, good in the air, but actually he's a very good technical player and there's so many goals that Van der Vaart set up for him. He still tweets about Spurs, he still loves Spurs, which I love because he had a lot of former clubs. He always is very positive about Spurs. He came up with the famous quote, what would you be if you weren't a footballer? He said a virgin. Can't argue with that, he's a top man and he is my most underrated Spurs player of all time. Peter Crouch, I love you. So that was my top five most underrated Spurs players of the Premier League era. Let us know what you think. Who do you agree with and who do you disagree with? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and check out at Spurred on TV on Twitter. And for more great football content, check out Soccer M's YouTube channel. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another match preview. And we are back in the Premier League against Swansea.